Hello everyone, I'm Sip the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. I'm kind of sad because uh, my light burned out on like the, the one that goes on my face, and so I, I need to get a new light bulb. But anyway, we're gonna talk about some four things that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is missing from the gameplay experience that I think will make it a 10 out of 10 game, or at least a 9 out of 10. To me, it's a 7 out of 10. When it was at $25, I could definitely see it as an 8 out of 10 game. But it's missing some features that I think, you know, it's it's kind of a, a thing that you should have in the game that I think would amplify the experience and make it more fun. So first of all is bots. And this is going to get into the second one. I think I said four things. I just legit, while I'm talking, came up with a fifth thing. So we're going to do five things. But we're missing bots, right? What made the original Battlefront 2 game really, really fun to play was all of the the bots and stuff that were in the game that made the battles feel just more, right? And just, just more massive. Now, if you don't want to do bots, you could also increase the amount of players. You know, I would say... Since Battlefront 2 is known for massive battles, do like 32 on 32, right? I think the, um, I think that is how much the intergalactic battles are, or maybe 32 v 32, or, you know, 24, 24, or even 16, 16, but, you know, we just need massive battles, right? I would say 50 soldiers on every side, and then if the player joins in, they can just swap out a bot. Now, of course, you know, you can't, I don't think they can support 100 people. I think that Battle Royale games can because of the not amount of stuff going on in them. But yeah, so we definitely need bots. We definitely need just more action going on. I noticed in, um, in the, uh, the mode, uh, any mode, like Intergalactic, or, I, and I don't keep calling it Intergalactic Assault. It's really just Galactic Assault. There's, you can, like, there's a lot of vehicles you can have, but also not a lot at the same time. So anyway, we need bots. Second is we need bigger maps, all right? The Galactic Assault maps look really cool, but to me, they aren't really big enough. And, you know, it feels like... I, when I explain this to my friend, right, is these Galactic Assault maps don't feel like massive Battlefront 2 maps. They don't to me. What it feels more like is how war mode should have been in World War II, All right? There's a lot of strategy you can do, but it's very limited in Battlefront II, and I think it ruins the Galactic Assault experience a little bit. I think it could be much better if it just had more to it, right? Think of a good example of this is the Death Star map. The Death Star map is really, really small on this game. Same with a couple of the jungle maps. Like, they're, they're just not big enough to really be awesome. I think, you know, DICE has the talent. They made the Battlefield 1 operations maps, and those maps are freaking huge. And I think if they took that concept and maybe added, you know, two variations of each map or something, or just made the maps twice as big, I think it would definitely be really cool. Now, I think that they are the way they are, because I noticed that there is a size thing going on with these maps. I think it's because of the processing power of the Xbox. And I, I think, because I think there is a technical limitation there with the amount of graphical power to the amount of uh, map size you have. So there's that. Anyway, moving on to number three is more game modes. Look, you got a, you got a multiplayer game. I talk about it, the camera doesn't focus on me. But in your multiplayer game, five game modes will not cut it. Five game modes. You have Galactic Assault, Starfighter Assault, which has like one or two, I think it's one map actually. You have Blast, Heroes vs. Villains, and another mode, I don't even know what the other mode is, right? I named off four because I don't even know what the fifth one is. And the arcade mode. We need classic game modes, right? Like Demolition um, from Call of Duty, that'd be a fun one on this map. I mean, demo the Demolition style gameplay Planting the bombs just works really well. Capture the flag, I think, would be awesome. Because there's a lot of different 8-on-8 eight eight arenas they have in this map. Something that they could do with this game is if the, is cut up the maps. They could easily make, I think, at least two capture the flag arenas per map. Right? Have Death Star A, B, C. 
have um, Endor ABC. Hoth, you could have like five different Capture the Flag maps, because that map, Hoth, they need to use Hoth as an example of a good Galactic Assault map. <clears throat> Hoth is amazing. Starkiller Base is a disappointment. Use Hoth as an example, but they just need more game modes, right? Could you imagine like an infected game mode where you had like Darth Maul going around killing people? And I might not, I don't know. You know, stuff like that. Just come up with ideas. More game modes would be awesome. And they need, this goes into number four, man. They need more blasters. Okay, I get that they have um, four different classes. So you have four different types of blasters, right? And, and I, I get that. But take a game like Rainbow Six Siege, right? In Rainbow Six Siege, you know, there's a lot more classes and a lot more guns in that game. In, 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 in Battlefront 2, there's really, if you look at the stats of the guns, there's like four guns per class. Even though six of them are time period specific, there's just four guns a class, man. All right, and like the sniper class, the first one's complete crap anyway, so you're never going to use that one. And it's just like, there's a bunch of guns that they're missing that I think they don't necessarily need to change the guns around. Because with the Star Wars game, this game in particular, you're not there for the competitiveness of it. You're there for the Star Wars-ness of it, if that makes any sense. You're there, you know, to have the droids fighting the clones. Or... You know, you're there to see, watch Darth Maul and Luke Skywalker go at it. You're not there to be like, okay, DL-44, high damage, we need a sniper on that. You know, you can still position yourself, but, I mean, you, you're not going to be like, oh, you're running the A-280. No, you need the A-79, 279, or the 278, you know, literally 200 different guns. You know, like, you can put in more guns, and, you know, it's cool if, um, if the, the troopers and the rebels and all the, the droids and stuff, if they use some of the heroes' guns, because that's what made, I think, Battlefront 1, the one thing they need to take from that game is include more blasters. I know I called them guns. They're blasters. Include more blasters. Even though some of them are hero-specific, it's still cool to use them. And last, but definitely not least, I'm going to say this. If they add... There is one thing they need to add to this game that takes the cake above everything else they need to add more heroes and villains all right i love heroes and villains it's my favorite game mode they need to add more they need to add just more you know light side and dark side people alike right in terms of lightsaber miss people they're missing count dooku and general grievous and if you want to include a bunch of characters from the cartoons missing some cool characters there from the light side you're missing mace windu Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon Jinn, Anakin if they really wanted to add him. I, I think it'd be cool if they had a dark side Anakin. If they had a Sith with a... They still had blue lightsaber Anakin. That'd be pretty cool. Just saying. And just all these different characters that they could add to really make heroes versus villains an amazing mode, right? I think... You know, with these missing features... I call them missing because this game... You know, I played it a little bit. I think I put in like 20 hours into it. That to me is that's a little bit by the way. Just so you know. My biggest issue with this game is there's as a Star Wars fan, right? I tell people, I tell my sister this yesterday. When I have enough disposable income, I'm buying myself a Force FX lightsaber or something cool like that. I want one. But there's so much stuff missing from this game that it feels like it feels like either a high quality tech demo or a low quality video game. It feels, it's just disappointing to play because of the missing features. It, it's, it's a weird feeling you have. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like if you have a kid start a YouTube channel and the kid's really excited, really excited, really excited, but then like, YouTube goes and deletes all their videos, and then they give up. Or they, they try to start over, but they just can't, right? That's what it feels like. It feels like those, you know, when someone loses their YouTube channel, 
and they just give up halfway through, but they still try. That's what this game feels like. But I'm really excited because the developer said they're bringing in free DLC, and I think what this is, is this is another Battlefield 4 situation. Okay, hear me out on this. Battlefield 4, when it first released, was a complete crappy game. Mess of a game. EA said, to DICE, just deal with it. We don't want to deal with it anymore. Do your thing. With all the DLC, they released it for free. I, I consider Battlefield 4 one of the best shooter games on Xbox One. I really think it, with all that DLC, all the ways to play... Oh, God, I'm gone. <laughs> okay, with all the ways to play, though, it's amazing. And I want to see Battlefront 2. I want to see this game succeed. Because I know deep down that EA is the reason this game failed, not DICE. Because DICE have already proven, with Battlefield 4, they can make one of the world's most amazing games. And I want to see that happen with Battlefront 2. So, you know, if, if, you, guys ha if you guys really care about this, tweet at them nice things. Be like, hey... You know, I missed the bots. Could you guys add those in? You know, hey, I, I think it'd be really cool if I got to play as General Grievous or, like, Chancellor Palpatine instead of Count Palpatine. That'd be so cool. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, what do you think of Star Wars Battlefront 2? I think it's I think it's missed potential and EA rushed it out. I would have been totally happy if they gave DICE the reins on this and gave them, like, two more years to develop this game. Actually, I think if DICE were allowed to take their time with this game they would make the world's greatest video game. I really think they would. So that's it. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. Uh, hopefully I get to make more Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos soon. Maybe if they add some cool stuff in, it'd be really cool. But I'll see you guys in the next episode of Stream Vlog, Steam It Post, of whatever I decide to make.